Lionel Richie's heading to Glastonbury, Chris Brown is offering anger management advice and Victoria Beckham gets emotional. Hi and welcome to this week's A-List Insider. It's official, Lionel Richie will play at the Glastonbury Festival in 2015. Organisers have confirmed that the Motown legend who brought us hits like Three Times a Lady and Easy Like a Sunday Morning will be doing his thing on the 28th of June on the famed Pyramid stage. He is the first confirmed act and it looks like he can't wait to perform for his UK fans. It has a phenomenal history and the alumni of artists who have previously played is incredible so I'm honoured to be joining the club. It will be a really special moment for me and I can't wait to share it with everyone. First Dolly Parton and now Lionel Richie, we can't wait to see what other old school acts will turn up at the festival. And it looks like Chris Brown has been busy surprising fans too. The live singer who has been trying to win back the public ever since he attacked Rihanna in 2009 recently took to social media to advise fans against violence. In a series of tweets, the 26-year-old star recommended trying to remember positive events rather than reacting when provoked. You see, you can turn over a new leaf even after you smashed a window on the Good Morning America set and got into a nightclub brawl with Drake and had multiple run-ins with the law. Good for you, Chris. And finally, Victoria Beckham showed off her softer side this weekend after winning the Best Brand Award at the 2014 British Style Awards. The pop star turned designer was in tears as she accepted the accolade at the event held at London's Coliseum. As her husband David watched on, she confessed that she could be a right pain in the butt and didn't understand how her former Spice Girls could be so supportive. Posh even broke with tradition and actually kissed her hubby on the lips. Ah. Well, that's all for this week, guys. Before all your latest showbiz news, please visit ibtime.co.uk forward slash entertainment.